Mousetrap is the least known game on the album. It was more of a newer game at the time, I think. Certainly it wasn't as new or as popular as the other games, but we thought it was a pretty good game. We enjoyed playing it, it had great graphics, and we loved the title, Mousetrap. So we wanted to, you know, to include it and uh, did the song on it. But I guess now it's hard to even find those machines. Uh, very, very rare. So I guess it, it really didn't do that well. It was a Pac-Man type game with the player being a mouse with dots that became cheese. It had cats that were ghosts and power pill bones that turned the mouse into a dog. To a mouse Once we signed with Columbia Records, we immediately started on the album. We had written some regular pop songs that we wanted to put on the album so we wouldn't get pigeonholed into doing just game songs. So we completed two new non-game songs when we were told all the songs in the album needed to be about games. One of the vice presidents at uh, CBS Records flew down to Atlanta and came over to meet with us and, and hear what we were doing and talk to our managers and blah, blah, blah. Well, they came in and heard the songs and they said, look, we, we want it to be all about games. The album should be all game songs. And we didn't want to do that. And so, you know, we argued and went back and forth. But of course, the label went out in the end. Jenny Whitaker was on drums again, Larry McDonald was playing the bass, Chris Bowman on lead guitar and rhythm, and I was, of course, uh, playing on the keyboard parts. And we were the basic musicians again, along with Rick Hinkle, who came back to play lead. We also brought Mike Stewart in, a very close friend of ours, a great musician and writer in his own right. And he had a Moog at the time, Moogs were hot, so we brought him in to beef up some of the lines with the Moog. Surprisingly to us, Mousetrap has turned out to be one of the more popular cuts on the Pac-Man Fever album. As I mentioned, Defender, which we really liked, was probably the least favorite. And Mousetrap, I have to be honest, we really didn't care for that track. But people seem to love it, and it has survived very well. 